Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Good evening and welcome to the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. I have the opportunity every Thursday night of bringing you interviews with uh, some interesting people in uh, business and politics and uh, lifestyle. Um, and, uh, and tonight I want to bring you uh, someone that's I think just very fascinating because her name is Yogita Manchandra. Uh, she is Miss Brampton World 2020 and she is competing in a Miss World Canada competition in November of this year. And so I thought it'd be fascinating to meet someone that is uh, a beauty pageant and, and competing in a in a world uh, beauty pageant in Canada. So, uh, Yogi Ta, Yogi, yes, welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you so much for having me here, Brian. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank so you. we met initially at uh, at a fashion show, yes, Mississauga Fashion Week, and yes. uh, you were uh, walking the, the the runway and you were a showstopper. Yes. Tell me what a showstopper is. So a showstopper is usually a girl who is either the first or the last one to walk in a fashion show. And it's usually the main girl of the show, so usually she has the most blinged out outfit. And that's What's the What's blinged out mean? Oh, she's, she's the one who's popping. Got the jewels she's, she's and... She's the popping one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and how long have you been a fashion model? So I actually have been modeling now for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I got in quite young and yeah it's been about 10 years now. And how did you go from modeling to uh, beauty pageants? Well I mean beauty pageants I've only this is my second one uh, the first one I took part in 2014. Okay. I was a part of Miss India Worldwide Canada. Okay. Um, that was my very first one and now I'm doing Miss World Canada. So I mean modeling and beauty pageants go hand in hand it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, however, beauty pageants is just a little bit up a little notch, so I I wanted to try something new, and this was just an opportunity that came knocking my door, and I was actually just shocked, because I was like, wait a minute, no, like you guys, like those girls have to be really tall. Yep. Like I'm not one of the tall ones, <laughs> so now, I was surprised. How did you uh, win Miss Brampton? What what was the competition for that? So that was the provincials. Um, that is when Miss World uh, they reached out to me, the team. And from there, they kind of told us some more details and what happens. And I was competing for the Miss Ontario title. Um, and I got to meet some really wonderful girls. And I, I get to represent Brampton, which is just wonderful. So, I mean, we had our own, like, we had a few things that they uh, watched us for. For example, we had our swimsuit round. We had our interview round. We had our gowns evening gowns and they judged us based on our walks, the way that we carried ourselves, the way that we spoke to everyone, and of course our beauty with a purpose, what we want to do. What's, uh, what's your beauty with a purpose? Um, actually, I have quite a few purposes. Okay. Um, so first, first and foremost, I want to spread love and happiness and positivity all around me to everyone. I want to be able to make the world a better place um, especially because in 2020, there's so much that has changed. COVID changed a lot. And no question. There's just so many things that have been happening, and it's, it's just ridiculous. So that's the very first thing that I stand for. I stand for love and happiness. I stand for people appreciating their own beauty. And beauty is supposed to be unique. It's supposed to be different. And it's, it's good that people like myself, we don't like to fit in. We like to stand out. We like to be ourselves. You don't like to fit in? I don't like to fit in. How do you uh, stand out? I be myself, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that I would like to tell all the girls and guys out there, mind you, be yourself. I know they're like on Instagram and stuff, we have so many filters and it's all the same thing though. Everyone looks the same, what's the point of that? Everyone has So when you own. post uh, pictures on uh, Instagram, do you use a filter? Sometimes I do because they're fun and they're kind of addicting to like play around with. I'm kind of on that for a bit, but no, overall, my actual posts, all of my posts, none of them have filters on them. Mm -hmm. They are all just regularly edited by the photographer or retouched by the photographer. Right. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, 
I, uh, I was actually uh, a keynote speaker at a fashion show, Very cool. um, and it was about uh, bespoke uh, nice. fashion. And, uh, and I spoke about how everyone should be unique and how fashion nice. is about being unique. And a lot about fashion is, is about being you know, fashionable and yes. stand out. Yeah. Uh, and that uh, we're not all wearing gray suits and we're not all wearing Thank you. the exact same uh, outfit that uh, we want to be different. <laughs> Um, do you think that's true or does everyone want to wear the same t-shirt and jeans? Um, I think it's true to a certain extent. I think people do want to follow trends, um, especially like all the ones that are bigger stars and role models are wearing. However, I think it is very, very important that we set our own fashion trends because it honestly takes one second to blow up. It takes one second. And, and looking back at all the people who have blown up, it's because they did something that was different. What do you different. mean blow up? Uh, in, in anything, I mean with fashion, with um, like makeup artists, with designers, with jewelry people, with photographers, they do something different. They're like, you know what, that's our inspiration, wonderful, I'm going to do something like that, but I'm going to put my own swag into it, my own touch into it. And that sometimes blows up. So I, that's one blows thing. Blows up bad. Blows up good. Blows up good. Blows up good. Oh, okay. I, I, I was reading your blows up uh, the wrong way. No, no. So blowing up good. is good. Blowing up is good. Okay, so it, it and, ends and up the being, way for goes that, viral. It goes, of course, yes, okay. going viral. And of course, for that is you got to be yourself. Got to be yourself. You got to be unique. You have to bespoke effectively. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. I agree. Uh, okay, so happiness and love is, is number Definitely one. Definitely one. Um, and then you also told and me mental health. Mental health is completely like, it's the main thing here. I think the whole world, I think everyone at this point after COVID, even if they didn't have some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of a stress or mental, everyone has stress, mind you, but if they didn't have some sort of a mental, like, you know, now a lot of people are starting to get anxiety. They're getting a lot more depressed. They're more sensitive to certain things. So it's all because of the circumstances, the situations that We're we've been put home. in. Exactly. So we all need that help at this yep. point. Yep. We all need somebody to talk to. And I think it's just very important. Other than that, mental health plays a role in every other thing. So I want to be able to help with human trafficking. I think that's another really big thing um, as well. Really? Human trafficking. I was kind of surprised. I didn't know it was as common in Canada, but it actually is. It actually is. I've met a few people personally who've told me their stories and I was absolutely shocked because um, I just didn't think that it would happen out here. Like with all and of our security and people being abducted in malls and, uh, and, and taken into prostitution or yes. stripping or something like that. Yes. Yes. I've met quite a few girls and it sucks. Some of them have managed to get out, which is wonderful. Some of them, unfortunately, have gotten more into it. And so uh, with your beauty with a purpose, how is it that you uh, have an impact on this? Uh, you know, obviously, you can talk about it uh, during your interview process during the beauty pageant, but do you, do you get involved in any campaigns or any uh, charities or any processes outside of the beauty pageants? So I'm really glad that I actually have been volunteering my whole life with several different organizations, not only in Brampton, but in GTA, so in the entire greater Toronto area. Um, I work with many different organizations. Um, now, I actually had several plans uh, that I wanted to carry out. I wanted to do a whole bunch of campaigns to raise awareness towards several different um, serious topics, issues that are going in today's world. However, because of COVID, everything has been screwed up. It, it screwed up my entire plans. Yep. But I feel like that's not something that's going to hold me back. I am making, I'm working on new plans. I'm working on other ways that I can kind of still spread awareness, um, but do it in a safe way, because I think it's, that's the first most important right. thing, right. Uh, safety. Um, I mean, at this point, that's kind of what I'm working on. I'm working with organizations. I have worked with organizations in the past as well. Um, and at this point, uh, let's just... Let's well, I think that, goes, you know, yeah. someone like yourself has an opportunity to really make a difference. And a lot Thank of people, you. you know, may wonder about that. But uh, it, it is a uh, an opportunity because you've got a platform, uh, because yes. you'll get uh, attention, because you'll be on Instagram. People yes. will be following you. Yes. And if you want to make a statement about... Uh, about whatever the topic is that is uh, something that you're passionate about, um, you can. Uh, I had a gentleman okay. that uh, I saw earlier that had a, a big black t-shirt on that had the, the saying, uh, what will your legacy be? And yeah, uh, you know, I cool. think that that's an important question that we all have Very to ask cool. ourselves, what our legacy is going to be. I and so um, I think, you know, frankly, I'd love to be able to walk along a stage with a swimsuit and have people actually 
look rather than whatever. So I think that's one uh, unquestionably uh, positive attribute that you're going to bring. But um, but it's a lot more than that. It is. Um, so uh, the gown. Do you have to wear a gown? Yes, I do. And do you wear an Indian sari or do you wear a well. English uh, Canadian gown or what? Uh, I mean, for the provincials, I did like a gown, like a Western type. Yeah. We gave it a nice fusion, a nice twist to it. So it was really nice. Um, everyone was just in awe. So that to me was my princess fairy tale moment. Right. When I walked out there and I had my first pose and I looked at the audience and everyone was just like, wow, like, dang, that girl. So I worked it in that gown and, and I felt very confident in it too. Um, now as for my nationals, uh, it's a good thing that you brought that up. It's kind of cool that you know all about Indian stuff and saris and all that, so it's really cool. I am thinking to actually do a fusion. Uh, I did want to incorporate my own roots into this. I mean, I was born in India and I've been raised in Canada my whole life. So for me, it's very, very important that I somehow mix and match the two. Well, and if it's Miss World Canada, Thank makes you. Uh, sense. Thank you. It's all about multiculturalism. We're chatting tonight uh, with uh, Yogita. That's right? Yogita. Right. Yogita, uh, yes. Yogita. There you Yogita. go. Gotta Yogita. be comfy with Man, it. Man, Man, Man <laughs> uh, Miss uh, World Brampton. Uh, we're going to take a break and come back with more in just a minute. Stay with us. J. Janae Jamshed brings you Summer Clearance Sale with up to 50% off on all items starting from 9th to 18th of October. Rush to your nearest J. Outlet or shop online at janaejamshed.com slash ca. Here's to the people. Pioneers searching for better. Ambitious fortune seekers in strange new places. They're the inspiration behind Zoom. The fast and secure money transfer app from PayPal. GTA Real Estate Investments. Pre construction or resale. Consult trusted realtors. Get first access and incentives. Contact Khalid Disease or Mashud Khalid, 647-865-2949. Are you looking for a different type of realtor? Meet Suhail Khan, broker, owner of Century 21 Innovative Realty, Inc. You don't need to know a lot about real estate, but you do need to know Suhail Khan, who knows a whole lot about real estate. He knows contracts, negotiations, research, he knows the market, and he really knows the area. When it comes to real estate buying or selling, Suhail Khan is a know-it-all. Get to know Suhail Khan, 416-822-0305 or at suhailkhan.ca. Experience excellence. Vajid Malik pesh karte hain ek aur shandar project in the heart of Toronto, Western Village. Beautiful brand new homes with two bedrooms, two washrooms, minutes away from 401 York University and Yorkdale Mall. Exclusive brand new stainless steel home appliances included. Prices starting from only 719,900. Don't miss this wonderful opportunity. Call now 416-827-3333 or visit www.wajidmalik.com. Team Farhan Mortgage Solutions. Aapki khidmat mein pesh pesh. 15 saala tajrube ke hamil. Aapki zaruriyat aur marzi ke en mutabik karobari, rehaishi, tamirati aur zarai mortgage services. Hamara kam tarin mortgage rate. Team Farhan. At Team Farhan, we're here for all your mortgage needs. Müşterilerimize iyi ve kaliteli hizmet vermeye özen gösteriyoruz. We offer all the services Here at Team Farhan, we have mortgage solutions designed for you. Team Farhan, go in the far khidmat ka zaroor mauka dijega. Uh, and this is my personal promise to you, you will not be disappointed. At, At Team for Home, we, we have, have a mortgage, mortgage solution designed, designed for you. Mazid Malumat ke liye 416-569-9294 ya phir visit ki jiye hamari website www.teamfarhan.com 
Welcome to Soho's Fashion Studio, a wonderland of designer and bridal couture, where our in-house designers will design your dream dress and our fashion houses in Pakistan will create it. Find casual to luxury fabrics under one roof. Quality is our number one priority. We are open Tuesday to Sunday, 12.30 to 7.30. Shipping internationally and within Canada is also available. Visit us at 2275 Britannia Road, West Mississauga, Unit 15. Or call us at 647-967-0351. Air Wings Travel and Tours, North America ki sabse baay tamad aur fastest air travel services. 25 saal ka tajarba liye, la tadad affordable travel deals ke saath, excellence in customer services on just one phone call. Ye hai Air Wings Travel and Tours. For booking, call now 1-855-247-9464 or 905-272-2300. Air Wings Travel and Tours. Consumer Choice Award recipients and GTA's top-ranked service provider, Dixie Electronics, authorized dealer of all major companies. Shop with a peace of mind and low prices are always guaranteed. I promise best customer service and lowest prices in GTA because we beat prices from all major stores and small stores. At Dixie Electronics, our motto is, we sell quality and deliver confidence. Dixie Electronics and Appliances, 5120 Dixie Road, Unit 11, Mississauga. Phone number 905-625-5900. Life is precious and health is the greatest gift. The best investment you can ever make is in your own health and life. Take steps now for your health and life concerns, which includes drug and dental insurance, travel insurance, critical illness, disability income insurance, and super visa insurance. We also provide life insurance, RESP, RRSP, and segregated funds. To make the informed decision, contact Babar Chuktai, your health benefit advisor at 416-816-9210. It's 416 416- Eight one six nine two one zero. Was your family or business prepared for this financial crisis? Want to learn how I prepare my clients with the essential financial planning pyramid for any financial crisis come their way? Hello, this is Zahir Sayed from Roj Financial. For your complimentary Zoom or Skype meeting, call my office at 905-624-0008 or visit arujfinancial.com. Buying or selling a residential or commercial property is one of the biggest financial decisions most people will make in their life. The real estate lawyers at Alam Law Chambers will guide you through the complete real estate laws to ensure your transaction completes on time and your dreams come true. Reliable and affordable Alam Law. If you are looking for a reliable, professional, and affordable travel agency in your town, then your search is over. Global Travel and Tours is your personal travel partner. Our dedicated staff at Mississauga, Jeddah, and Islamabad is always ready to make your trip hassle-free, memorable, and cost-effective. We will assist you with hotel reservations, the transportation, visa assistance, and travel insurance. We are the number one pilgrimage specialist for Hajj, Umrah, as well as Ziyarat to Iran and Iraq. Global Travel and Tours is a one-stop solution for your travel, immigration, and forex needs. We are IATA-approved agents and an authorized Umrah agent. To book your holiday or Umrah package, please give us a call right now at one 877 Two seven five three five five five. We look forward to hearing from you. Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on the Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Welcome back to the Brian Crombie Hour on Canada One TV. Uh, we're chatting tonight about uh, beauty pageants and about modeling and about making a difference in the world using whatever the uh, the uh, platform you have, the podium you have to make a difference. And we're talking with Yogita Manchanda, who is uh, Miss 
World Brampton, Miss Brampton World 2020, and she's competing in November for Miss World uh, Canada, um, uh, the national competition. She's competed in uh, in a previous competition, which was for what Miss World that was, India, yes, Miss India, Miss World? India Worldwide Miss Canada. India Worldwide. So both countries. And so the, the, the Canada World one coming up, is this uh, uh, for everyone or is this for people from ethnic backgrounds or what? Yeah, no, this is definitely open to everyone from Canada itself. Yeah. It's going to be that one girl who is the perfect girl to represent Canada for Miss World. Okay. So I've um, had a, a daughter of a good friend of mine that became oh. uh, Miss uh, Universe Canada. Very cool. Um, and, uh, and then she went to a competition in South America for Very Miss cool. Universe. She didn't win, but I think she won Miss Congeniality or something yes, like that yes. um, and uh, and it really uh, launched her career um, yes. and uh, and and someone that you may not have thought of uh, as a beauty uh, contestant um, athlete and uh, an academic but uh, ended up getting into modeling and ended up becoming a, a TV personality um, actually the on-air um, on on a re in arena personality for the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, wow. um, for hockey and so so I do think that it can launch a career is that one Definitely. of the reasons why you went into this um, well, actually, I got into modeling because I wanted to make a difference in the world. That was my main, my only purpose of getting into modeling and acting career. Um, after that, when I decided to do a pageant, the very first one in 2014, I felt like it was a really good experience that I had. I got to learn a lot. I met so many people um, and it kind of boosted me because I was like, you know what? Like I did this on my own basis. I worked hard for my registration fees. I've worked hard for every single thing. So let's do it. And I got up there. So once I started, when, when I got the Miss World call, I was like, hands down, okay, this is it. Definitely God is watching me. I know for sure I can make a difference in the world now. I have a bigger platform, which will actually help me. Now that little voice that I had, that I've always had, now it will get a little bit bigger and it'll be able to reach out to a lot more people out there and people will be able to come forth help me out, we can all make a difference together. Excellent, well good luck. Thank um, you. you know, it's interesting because I interviewed someone um, in their 40s that competes yes. in beauty pageants. Very cool. Um, and uh, Mrs. Canada World or Canada yes. Globe or something yes. like that uh, was the competition yes. that she was part of. Um, and uh, she did it for two reasons. Number one, when she was a teenager and a young adult, she had uh, uh, body image issues right. um, and eating disorder issues. Right. Um, and uh, and then um, later on, she wanted to uh, build her confidence. And she mm -hmm. found that it really built it her uh, confidence. Oh, definitely. And I've, uh, I, I've, I've met some people that are into dance and some people yes. that are into fashion. Yes. And they find that both of those things really do an incredibly good job of, of confidence, confidence building. Com comparable to sort of being in Toastmasters and learning how to stand up in front of people and speak. Yeah. Do you, have you found that? Definitely. Definitely. I feel personally like my confidence level was already pretty good um, since I was a child uh, because I was always into acting. I was always into theater. So personally, I didn't really have to face that kind of a challenge. However, I do feel like it has boosted me um, throughout the years. I have picked up a lot more tricks. Um, here there that I'm able to I like to share. I'm not one of those people So I do like to share my tricks and what are your tricks? Uh, there's certain things when posing for example like see I don't have a double chin, but always remember people stick out your neck It's gonna feel funny. So I, I was told that when sitting I'm not sure if you can see me in the camera But yes. to, to put a, uh, a hand behind your back yes. so that that forces you to That's sit up straighter straight. and sit forward like yes. you're paying attention rather than slouch Slouching. back yes. which uh, will uh, body language say I'm not interested in what you're saying I, I got to remember that because I've got terrible posture but See, that's another thing would be if you sit kind of more at the edge of your stool or your chair yep. that will kind of force you to have that straight look right which is because you can't you, rest yeah, against the no. backrest it's bad for your posture regardless for long term if you're doing it okay anything else oh there's so many so Tell many more. tricks Tell okay more. so um remember so for making sure that your back is always straight right yes exactly now don't don't look like you're so forced take a deep breath now relax okay there you go now you look a little relaxed but your back is straight so it's giving you that confidence okay yes. um, I had uh, a, a a mentor that yeah. used to tell me what you do is stand against the wall yeah. and you stand up right against the wall yep. um, you, you, you get a sense of where your back's got to be and that for the next little while that's where you're, uh, you, you'll put your back and if you get out of uh, alignment go back stand up against the wall and uh, and that's that'll recorrect everything I mean yes because you're sitting down for so long yeah. so you got to fix that posture yeah. your back yeah. needs the little stretch 
Okay, what so, else? Anything else? I mean, there's so many things. Oh my. Okay, so there's another one that I learned, which no one really ever taught me. So, for example, the camera is right here in front of me. Mm -hmm. Okay? If I'm posing, now this is for a photo shoot, I cannot look, I, I can only look around this much of the camera. If I look over here, you're going to see too much white in my eyes. Right. Which is not attractive. Okay. For so, girls, ladies, stick out your bum. Even though you have it, stick it out more. Why? Because in photos, in, it doesn't really show in camera. Okay. Okay. So what else? Posing, you should always exaggerate. Um, now, walks on the ramp, a lot of people ask me um, who taught me how to walk. Mm -hmm. Well, no one really taught me how to walk. I just like, some friends told me like little tricks and tips here or there. But that's about it. I mean, I usually just, I used to go and search up some like, videos online and I used to check in myself and I kind of mimicked the girls but I then noticed that everyone has their own like style to their walk their own personality yeah so that's what I started doing I started learning the basics which was you know back straight take a deep breath so it's not so forced relax okay look straight past the camera and just walking and whatever kind of facial expression you want to go for so if it's a bridal look then you want to be shy which means think of your significant other what I tell the young ones when I'm training, I usually tell them this, think of your boyfriend, think of your girlfriend. That look will naturally come onto your face. What, you'll be more shy when you think about Oh, of course. Really? Oh, okay. come on. Okay. What do you mean? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thinking about your partner. So I was uh, um, actually in a fashion show uh, nice. uh, two years ago today. Nice. Um, and uh, I had to uh, walk the runway. And okay. uh, it was a charity little fashion show, and I had a fancy new uh, blue jacket uh, yeah, that cool. uh, one of the local menswear stores outfitted me in. And I was walking behind uh, a, a, a beautiful young lady from uh, Caledon um, who had just won uh, Supermodel, Supermodel Canada, or Canada Supermodel, oh, wow. or something like this. Nice. Um, yeah. and, uh, and she was tall and stunning. Um, and, uh, and I asked her for her uh, guidance on yes. what to do on the runway to be a success. And she said, it's simple. You want to stride strong, confident, and bold. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? Striding strong, confident, and bold is a pretty good uh, rule for maybe a fashion model, but for almost anything in life. Of course. Strong, confident, and bold. For everything. And so what I did is I stride out there strong, confident, yes. and bold. Yes. And, uh, and got a nice ovation, which was kind of fun. Of course, yes. It's always fun. It's always fun. But then she said, the bigger challenge is knowing how to turn. Ooh. So how do you turn? I mean, it depends. Uh, there's a few ways um, you can make. It, it depends what pose you're going for. Um, if you're just going to the end of the ramp and there is no posing and you just get to turn, usually you make a little semicircle in the front. Okay. That's usually it. Um, keeping it simple for more of the advanced people, you would do a pivot. What's a pivot? A pivot is when you're walking, you have your pose, you're holding, and then you one like pressure and then you kind of turn it just looks very flawless it's like an easy they make it look effortless in that way it's like a structured it's it's literally just you're walking you're posing you're standing in a T you take that one foot forward whichever foot you take forward you're putting more pressure on it and as you're turning you're basically just making eye contact and so, it just goes smooth so she yeah. said turn like you're saying goodbye to someone that you don't want to say goodbye to. Oh, that's nice. That's a good way to put it. And what she said is, then what you'll do is you'll end up having that eye contact with people yes. that uh, will not want to see you Yes, leave. yes. So it depends on the show. If there is an event or if there is a fashion show in which you guys are interacting with the audience, then yes, definitely make eye contact. If there's an event where they want it very fashion and edgy and just you cannot make eye contact. You actually have to look straight and pass the camera, pass the people, and bam. Okay. So, um, what's next? You're, uh, you're obviously getting ready for uh, this competition in November. Yes. You're designing your gown? I am working with a designer right. who is helping me design and put the whole thing together. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm working with different vendors because there's no way I could do this by myself. And, uh, and you know, I've heard people that have to like work out with weights and go crazy so that they 
look okay in this wind sweep competition? You don't have that problem, but are you doing anything in that regard? I mean, not really, because I actually recently got into a car accident. Oh no. Yeah, I was rear-ended, um, so my car has been totaled, but I'm not really allowed to do heavy lifting or anything as of yet. My back was affected. Um, I am slowly starting to get into, okay, because I started getting super lazy. So I started now slowly getting into a little bit of a routine, getting up and just doing some stretches. That's about it. Okay. I mean, that's something that I would recommend to everybody. So if uh, there's uh, people watching tonight yes. that are potentially interested either in themselves or maybe their daughters yes. of getting into uh, beauty pageants, yes. what's your advice to them? Ooh, okay. There's a whole bunch of things, um, not only for beauty pageants, but just in general for modeling. Um, because there are a lot of girls who reach out to me um, and they always ask me questions in how do I deal with certain people. Yep. Um, I know certain girls actually from this pageant itself, they have dropped out because some people have um, asked them for sexual favors, for example. And that is something that is very, very common in this industry. So I would just advise those girls... Be if, careful. Be very careful. Be very smart. Make sure everything is in a contract. Uh, make sure you take an adult with you wherever you go. If, you're, if you are an adult and you feel comfortable enough going to places, take a friend. If you're a girl, take a guy friend. Just, just a piece of advice. Yep, no, take that's a good friend. advice. Every single thing should be... the buddy system. Be, Always have the buddy. Yes, okay. everything should be written on paper. Okay, but if people wanted to do it, do you recommend it? Definitely. It's a really wicked experience. Your confidence level definitely gets boosted. You're going to meet so many more people. It's, it's just so much fun. It's a good way. It's a good hobby. You know, and honestly, for those girls or boys, those girls or boys who want to make a difference in the world, I think this would be this perfect. Is a good way. This is a way. Well, Miss Brampton World 2020, contestant for uh, Miss World Canada 2020 in November, uh, Yogita yes. Manchandera. Manchanda. Manchanda. Uh, good luck and congratulations. Thank you. thank you, Brian. And thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I had a great time. Well, that's uh, the Brian Crombie Show for tonight uh, with uh, Yogita Manchanda. Um, and, uh, you know, I wanted to talk to her because I do think that. Uh, Dance, beauty pageants, modeling, things like that can be a very positive thing and sometimes they're, they're negatively uh, described uh, by people and I think they can be positive for males and females. Um, and I do love being able to quote that uh, uh, Miss uh, Supermodel Canada who used to say to me, who did say to me, stride, strong, confident and bold because frankly I think it's great uh, advice for everything in life. Strong, confident and bold. Anyway, that's the show for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm on every Thursday night on Canada One TV. Good night.